Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is the Faces Sergeant and welcome back to A 7 Days to Die. In this video we'll be taking a look at gunpowder, what you need to make it, and what is the most effective way of actually making it. So let me actually see, it's been a minute. Uh, 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 and batteries, building stuff, crafting stuff. Yeah, it would appear I'm completely out of it, but it doesn't matter. You basically need coal and you basically need nitrate powder, but I could have sworn I had a bunch of it just laying around. Ah, I am a crafting, duh. Okay, I'm just going to take that coal and take that nitrate powder that I already have. And basically, you're gonna want to use the workbench because if we just take a look at the gun, gun, you can make it like this, but it will cost you two coal and two nitrate powders. But if you get a chemistry station, it'll only cost you one. So it's much more effective to make it like that. Even more effective would be to make stacks of gunpowders where you basically where you basically get a thousand gunpowders for the price of 800. And in order to get that you will need the demolitions expert perk. And if we head on over here to the strength... Um, uh, no... Perception, infiltrator. Ah, right. It is under perception, and if you level it up to the third level, you will unlock this option. And basically, we're just going to go ahead and go to the chemistry stations, stack of gunpowder. I can make eight, so that's eight thousand gunpowder. And for the rest of the gun, for of the coal that I have, I can just turn it like that. Then I'm just going to go like this. And <clears throat> now I have a bunch of ammo. There is a bunch of gunpowder that I can turn into ammo. I just saw it a second ago. Ammo crafting, there we go. Pow. I'm just going to put the nitrate powder in there. And that's it. 